and get yourselves ready to hear from God. We're going to thank the Lord for all that he's doing. If you don't mind, put your hands together as we welcome our pastor to the pulpit. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Touch your neighbor and say, praise the Lord. We ain't got nothing left to do but to praise him. <laughs> Touch your neighbor and say, that's the assignment. We came to praise the Lord. Touch somebody else and say, I came to lift up the name. You can bring me down a little bit. You say, I came to praise the name of the Lord. Look at somebody and say, I came to praise the name of the Lord. How many know God is worthy of honor this morning? How many would say a double honor? God is worthy. Amen. So we come, we come to praise the name of the Lord. Listen, let's not, miss, uh, let's not miss what we came to do. I've come to elevate the name of Jesus. I've come to speak of the glory of God. Somebody say hallelujah. We've come to set things in order in the house of the Lord. Amen. And I don't know where you are in your life and what's been happening with you, but I've come to proclaim the name of the Lord. Amen. Come on, somebody. We're going to proclaim the name of the Lord. You're not without help. You're not without a refuge. You've got somebody who's doing things for you you don't even know about yet. <laughs> I'm celebrating the things I haven't seen because that's what faith is all about. Somebody say hallelujah. I'm celebrating things that I haven't seen yet, but I know God's faithful. Amen. So I can trust and rest in him. Somebody say glory to God. What an awesome day it is. You can bring me down a little bit more back there. What an awesome day it is. What an awesome day it is to be in the house of the Lord. You ought to be glad that God has afforded to you this opportunity to hear his heart and his voice and his mind towards you. Amen. The, the times that we share together in the house of the Lord are for your edification, for your strengthening, for your purpose in the Lord. We don't know what may happen tomorrow, next week, next month, but God's preparing you right now for what's right around the corner. And we've got to take every opportunity. We've got to seize this moment uh, to, 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 to glean and to take in all that God wants to say with us and to us today. Amen. So we have a wonderful day in store, not only in this service, but in the service this afternoon. Y'all know we're going to go break ground this afternoon. Somebody say hallelujah. That's awesome, man. Let me give you a precursor to that. We've got a lot of wonderful people going to be out there today, uh, pastors and friends and family of the ministry. Let me advise everybody that, you know, we ran out of daylight. We moved the clock back one hour. And so by 530, it's already getting kind of a little dark. So we're going to start right at 430. That's to all the Hispanics in the house. We're going to start at 430. I mean, we got to start promptly because we're all going to have an, maybe an hour to get through. And so we don't plan on it going too much further than that. Uh, but we're going to have an awesome time out there. There'll be refreshments and the time for fellowship out there. And we're going to break that ground and turn that dirt. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and eat before we go. Amen. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, let's get over to it. I'm in 1 Samuel. Y'all know we've been studying the heart of David, kind of preparing our minds for who he is and getting the thought towards David. This was a man who wanted the very heart of God, not just a heart for God, but the very heart of God. And we're studying and looking at him uh, in his infancy and in his adolescent uh, years. And we, we discovered some of that last week in that message entitled Lion, a, a Lion and a Bear. We talked about those lion skins and bear skins. And I know many of you are here today saying, Pastor, I have a lion skin in my possession. I have a bear skin in my possession. And so uh, we, 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 uh, uh, we have taken some time last Sunday to look at that. We are looking at 1 Samuel chapter 17. Now we're getting over to boldness. Today we're going to be talking about spiritual boldness. And, and I want a, a reference uh, out of David's life. Uh, his confrontation with this man by the name of Goliath. And so I'm reading all of this. I could have read the whole chapter, but I'm going to start at verse 40. I'm going to end. I'm trying to uh, bring, uh, 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 read down to verse 47, bringing emphasis to verse 45, 46, and 47. That would be the context of the lesson today, verses 45, 46, and 47. But I thought it would be good to read a few verses that would preclude that, those particular verses so that we can get a better handle on the story itself. 1 Samuel uh, chapter 17, uh, beginning here at verse 40, in the message I've entitled, Blessed is he, blessed 
is he. Look what it says. Verse 40 begins like this. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in his shepherd's bag, which he had, even in a script. And his sling was in his hand.